Hey folks, JD here, and today I thought we'd look at something a little bit different, something that we've not looked at yet, and this is the, dif the difference in design between four quadcopters, um, which were between four nano quadcopters, uh, and how the design differs and how that actually impacts their flight. So we, the, the four quadcopters that we've got in front of us, we've got the Kaideng Alpha, We've got the SEMA X20, we've got the Hubson H107, and we've got the Predator. Now these are all four nano quadcopters that we've looked at this year, and honestly I think these are among the better ones that we've actually looked at. Um, so starting off with the Alpha. So this design is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is an egg which all four parts of the egg open up to reveal the propeller arms. Are meant to there we go and inside um, obviously on the propeller arms then you have the propellers so that is something that I didn't expect when I first looked at this the design itself I didn't know how it was going to actually um, fly it flies tremendously well uh, and I actually think that this egg shape actually helps with the flight rather than hinders the flight as well also with the design of this, it actually just clips back in to become a very portable unit, uh, which again is something which is is unseen. Uh, it's un I've not seen this at all in in the quadcopter market. I've seen quadcopters obviously with folded arms, but not to the point where it actually folds in and becomes it's so sort of robust and solid that it actually just protects itself. That is amazing. There's nothing on show here that can actually get damaged. So this I'm extremely impressed with. I think the design is revolutionary. I think that a lot more quadcopters could actually fly with a design like this. And even the battery inside here is so small, but because of the, the weight and the correct motors that we used, it actually meant that the battery, we, we had about eight or nine minutes out of the battery in total, which is incredible, which this battery is smaller than, than any of these batteries put together. Um, so all in all, I think the design and the whole manufacturing process of this particular quadcopter is just outstanding. So that's number one, that's the Alpha. Let's look at number two. Number two is the SEMA X20. Now, the SEMA range, I feel, got a little bit stale with uh, the X5 style of, um, of quadcopters. And then they brought out a new style for the U5, um, for the X5UW rather, and X5UC. And with that came along this little um, update as well. So they made an anocopter which pretty much looks like the, the larger of the quadcopters. And this, again, was magnificent. Flew so well, has altitude hold. But not only did it fly well, it cut through the air well. It didn't feel as if there was any resistance being put on the quadcopter at all. And again, I think this is down to this really sort of, this really sort of nice design. There's all rounded corners, there's not one corner here, everything is rounded off. Which means that the air can actually skim across it and fold down. And which means that the air can just skim across it. And it actually produces less resistance, which means the quadcopter is gliding through the air with greater ease and therefore not using up as much battery. Uh, and again, a spectacular flying, really nice design. Again, design in which we see the battery is actually internal to the quadcopter. You don't have access to it. Obviously, you can get access to it if you prefer to with these little four screws just in the corners. But if you don't want to, if you just want to have it as a, just a plug-in charge and a way to go, then it's a fantastic little quadcopter for that. I think as well, a lot of these quadcopters, the Nanos, come with these propeller arms, which actually does the sorry the propeller guards rather which does actually help the quadcopter slightly on the larger ones I found them to hinder but on these I found them to be really good so again a really nice design quadcopter really well worth your time I think uh, and I think all in all I think this is most definitely um, a quadcopter that I'm going to be seeing uh, that hopefully we're all going to be seeing a lot more of so that's the SEMA X20 now the next one we've got, this is the Hubson H107. Now this is a lovely little copter. It really is the most sturdy of the lot of them. Uh, it's been put together with, with some love, I think, to be honest with you, because this is unlike anything I've ever felt. It's got weight behind it. It feels weighty, it flies very well. Um, obviously there's no camera with it. There's no camera with any of these. Um, they are just purely just for the fun of flying quadcopters. Now look at this one. This looks like a bug. So he's got two little angry eyes here which light up blue when you turn the quadcopter on. And not just that, but you can see the body is all styled, really nice, really smooth. Really, there's again no points, it's just all been really smoothed out. 
the back as well curves down so the quadcopter in itself, and move these propellers out of the way so people can at least see, thank you, bends up so it kind of arcs over itself. A little bit like uh, a VW Beetle. So it, arc, it goes down at the front and goes down at the back, but also there's this arc at the back here, um, in the middle, sorry. And that in itself does help when it flies through the air, when it does glide. Again, I found turning with this to be extremely easy. Um, and I've actually crashed it about three times and all that's happened is I've lost the propeller uh, So I've lost the uh, the rubber bungs on the bottom here for the for the landing sprigs But I found it effortless to fly so that is the the Hubson H107 And now we're coming on to the Predator now this one again flew pretty well But the design I'm more interested in in this particular video and whereas all these landing sprigs have something in common They're all just little bits of rubber which are stuck on the bottom between those two quadcopters. This one has just got like a, a little ring around the bottom of it, which doesn't work very well. Um, but this one is different again. These look like, it looks like it's styled off of um, Oscar, Oscar Pistorius's blades. They really are really nice landing sprigs. They come away from the body. They're not attached to the motors, uh, to the motor housing, so they don't get warm. They stay nice and cool and they're solid very solid now i've taken this out about four or five times at this stage and look none of them are damaged everything is just exactly where it should be whereas i've lost two put two landing sprigs on here one on here um so yeah i think the design of these landing sprigs i think these quadcopters could learn a lot from this um likewise though i think this quadcopter could learn and I'll also fly and learn a lot more about flight from these guys uh, so it's kind of like a two-way streak but to be honest with you the way that this has all been molded again you've got an aerodynamic body two little eyes at the front to make it look like a little bit of an insect uh, but again it's down at the front down at the back arced over at the middle um, and yeah it just when I took this out these landing sprigs just blew me away and I think even now it's been a couple of weeks since we've flown it I still feel very warm towards this quadcopter so there we are. So we've got four quadcopters which all fulfill the same function, which is to fly, to bring pleasure, bring enjoyment, and they all do very, that very, very easily. But also I think it's very important to remember that they're all designed and all styled totally different. So I think what I've learned from this as well, especially with this guy here, the Alpha, is that if I see something which is a little bit of an odd shape, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to test it because I thought this thing was going to fly terribly and it doesn't. If you haven't seen the video of this flight, the flight video, uh, then it's in the description. Have a quick little look. Um, but yeah, I think all of these are really worth another shout. They're really worth another go. So there we are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching, listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.